Hey everybody, my name is Alex, and if you've been on this channel long enough, you'll remember that I used to be the hungry health coach. Now, of course, we are living van life, and so I'm gonna share with you some of my delicious van life recipes. Healthy, fast, easy, let's do it. If you guys like these videos and you wanna see more of this on FNA Van Life, be sure to let us know in the comments below because we're just flying by the seat of our pants here. Today we are making a delicious pan fried bread. This went viral on TikTok recently and I got about 400 different names for what you call this. It's bannock, it's fry bread. I got a bunch of different cultural references. Everybody's claiming it for themselves. <laughs> I don't know who made it. I don't know who invented it. Is it Native American? Is it Irish? I'm really not sure. It's just delicious and so we're gonna make it. Is Paco playing on your phone over here? What's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> he's, these are my recipes, Paco. Don't lose my recipes. Uh, he's losing your recipes on you. Gotta keep that. <laughs> Cooking in the van with F and A van life. <laughs> All you need is one and a half cups of flour. I like to use King Arthur flour. It's higher in protein. And the heiress to the King Arthur fortune commented on our TikTok. Weird. One tablespoon of baking powder. If you notice, I'm using smaller measurement devices because in the van I don't want to have to clean very often so if I can use one tool instead of two I'm gonna do that one full teaspoon of baking soda and then a half a teaspoon of salt so that's it for dry ingredients just give that a little mix around now we're gonna add our one and only wet ingredient one cup of water a sink and the prep area are a little bit far away from each other so you have to make sure you don't spill Nice job. <laughs> so now we've made kind of like glue. Um, so mix this around until it forms a nice dough. No, no, no. Homer Simpson in the house. We're not making donuts though. Homer would like that. But don't worry if it seems like it's not really coming together. You really just need to kind of get the flour mushed into the wet part. And then eventually it will become one lump. Just what you want in your cooking, lumps. Okay, scrape down the sides a little bit and make sure everything is nice and incorporated. Our dough is done. I don't think Pac was that impressed. No, he doesn't care at all. You know when he will care? When it's done and we're when, eating it. When he smells it. <laughs> all right, grab your frying pan. You already have the frying pan. Like, where do I put it? One tablespoon of olive oil into a cold pan. Then you want to mix this around so that it's nice and coated all over your pan. Make sure that you get the corners and just like, you know, do a little thing. Uh, if you can hear something, it's the rain on the tin roof because it's just started pouring. That's mainly the reason why we're in here right now doing a video. <laughs> Frankie's going to get in on the taste testing parts. Ooh, I am ready for that. So I'm just using a spatula to kind of help the dough into the pan. I can just hear myself echoing in the cooktop. Yeah. It's like, oh, oh, oh. Can you hear that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> now you want to spread your dough out. So it kind of comes into a big clump. You want to, like, move it around so it's nice one flat, even layer. It's okay if there's still some peaks and valleys because we're gonna add some flavor to the top and they'll just kind of sink into those areas and be so delicious. Now we are gonna add our everything seasoning on top. This one is a special Japanese mix that has seaweed in it, but you can just use the everything bagel seasoning or whatever seasoning you want. If you have garlic, paprika, parsley, if you wanna use fresh chopped herbs, anything that you have that you wanna spice this bread up, Go for it. I'm gonna use this Japanese everything. Don't be shy, you can add a lot. We're gonna add one tablespoon of water just around the edges of the bread to help it steam. Put on your lid, turn up the heat to like medium, and then leave it for 10 minutes. Don't open the lid, don't look at it. While that's going, we need something delicious to eat with it. Well, actually we don't. You could just eat it like that, it's so good. But I'm gonna make a delicious spread that you can kind of scoop it up with. Mm, so good. Let me just tidy up my workspace a little bit. 
This is a delicious bean and sun-dried tomato mix. I'm gonna mix it up in my little magic bullet blender because that's van sized. If you have a nicer, more awesome blender, use that. So I'm using a can of chickpeas because that's all that I have. Yesterday I made it with great white beans. So good. So hopefully the chickpeas turn out the same. I guess this will be more like hummus. I had some of this stuff that she's about to whip up and let me tell you what, it is absolutely delicious. All right, so first up we're gonna open this can and I freaking love this can opener so much. I don't think that I could tell you enough things about how amazing this can opener is. And then I'll go to someone's house and use their can opener and be like, oh my God, how do you even like function with this terrible can opener? Watch how easy this is. Uh, uh, oh yeah. And there's no sharp edges. Can, uh, it's the best thing ever. It's ergonomic. German engineered. I'm just gonna drain these. I'm not gonna rinse them. Beans are going right into the jar. Jar? Beans? Jar? You know what I'm talking about. Now we've got our sun-dried tomatoes. These are in olive oil. If you wanted to use ones that were dry, you could. You would just need to add a little bit more olive oil to your mix to get it blendy. Is blendy a word? Is, are we gonna say that blendy's okay? Yeah, I'll say you made it up. How about that? <laughs> so I'm gonna do one third of a cup of these beautiful sun-dried tomatoes. These sun-dried tomatoes smell so good already. I'm like, I could just eat them raw. We're gonna juice a lemon. This is probably a half a lemon. This is the teeniest, tiniest lemon I've ever seen in my life. Maybe a half a regular size lemon. I don't want to get the cutting board out, so I'm being a little bit dangerous. I'm just going to do it through my fingers to get rid of any seeds. Alright guys, we're going to take a break from the dip to look at the bread. This should have been on for about 10 minutes. We forgot to set a timer, so I have no idea how long it's been on. But a good way to look and see if all of the water is evaporated from the edges of the bread, you're probably good to flip it. Also, I would say smell could be a good indication. Yeah, though. I mean, I don't think you're going to smell it unless it smells burnt. So if it smells burnt, definitely flip it. Here's the secret to this bread. You have to give it the one-two haya flip. Haya! Oh, right, see that golden brown on the bottom? That or like a little bit less than that, it is exactly what you're going for. I'm gonna turn the heat down to low, and then this time we're actually gonna set a timer for five minutes. Right, back to the spread. I need to consult my spice jar, so I'm gonna bring those all over here. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quarter teaspoon of, this is kind of like an Italian mix. I just kind of shoved a bunch together. It's basil, oregano, and thyme. And then a quarter teaspoon of parsley. You could also just do like a half a teaspoon of like an Italian mix. Then I'm gonna do a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. You could use fresh garlic, but my blender can't handle it, so I'm not gonna do that. And then maybe like a half a quarter a teaspoon, is that an eighth, of paprika. All right, I think we're good to blend. If you're in a van, just make sure to turn on your inverter at this point. Ours is already on because our lighting kit is too. Ooh, you know what I did forget? Salt and pepper, can't forget those. We'll do a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. It's probably too much, we'll find out soon. Just a few good cracks of pepper. If you wanted to add some red pepper flakes into this as well, that would be delicious. Let's see if my blender can handle this. The short answer is no, it can't. I'm probably gonna add some additional olive oil just to get this baby moving. We could also add some more lemon juice too. All right, I believe in you. I believe. Oh, bread's probably getting close too. 25 seconds. It's already been five minutes, how did that happen? I think the great white northern beans were a little bit like more moist. wetter and like less dense than these chickpeas. The timer is going, let's check out this bread. Do another flip. And then as you can see, there's a little bit of burning on the top. You want it to be a little golden brown. And then let this sit for like at least five or 10 minutes because it's gonna be hot, 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 hot. 
But take it off of the heat. We're gonna try to finish blending this dang dip, and then we'll be ready to go. Do you regret that dip? I don't regret the dip. It's gonna be dip-licious, but it's just this blender is a piece of junk. That should be good. I would stop. Don't go too crazy. I'm like a mad scientist right now. I think that's as good as she's gonna get. I don't mind eating a whole chickpea. Never hurt me before. Mmm, this smells so good. Might taste a little. Mm -hmm. huh? I thought that was my job. Ready for the taste test. Oh. Oh, that's good. It almost tastes like tomato sauce. <laughs> Delicious. That would basically make it a pizza at this point. Yum! All right, guys, this bread is absolutely delicious. It's still boiling lava hot. I could barely touch it, but can we're going to eat some. Can I have a bite? Yeah. I'm the tester, remember. You are the tester. Okay, cool. The official tester. Should and then we've I got our amazing dip here. Should which, I dip in there? Of course. All right. Oh, yeah. So nice. I'm going to do it twice. Oh. This is like eating pizza back in Brooklyn. So good. Way healthier for you than just a regular pie. You're gonna love it. If you do, let us know in the comments below. And if you wanna see more of this healthy van life cooking show, be sure to let us know in the comments below. It's been a while since the Hungry Health Coach made it her appearance. Yeah, yeah. So we're interested to see if you guys want to see this kind of stuff. I feel like we need her back. So get in those comments and start hitting it up. <laughs> Bring her back. Bring her back! Bring her back! <laughs> well, he never lost me because I've been cooking for him this oh, whole time. Oh, so good. I feel bad that you guys <laughs> lost her a little bit. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Make sure to ring that notification bell as well. Scoop, scoop, bedoop, scoop, bedoop, scoop, bedoop, 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 scoop, bedoop, scoop, bedoop, scoop, bedoop, 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 bedo